My name is Stefan Kraus from Byte to Bytes, and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you the Unity terrain settings inside World Creator. Now let's start with the height map resolution. So first, what is a height map? A height map is used to store the elevation data for your terrain. The less the resolution is, the less the quality of your terrain. The higher the resolution, the better. World Creator Professional supports a maximum resolution of 8192 pixels. So actually the Unity terrain system maximum is about 4096. This is also what the standard version supports, but World Creator increases this, uh, giving you a, a lot more information, a, f a lot more detail for your, for your height maps. Um, the only thing that you have to consider is the larger the resolution you choose, the longer the, gener uh, the generation uh, inside World Creator takes. So always make sure to use the GPU uh, if you're going to use uh, very high resolutions for the height map. So the control map is used for texturing reasons. Same thing here. The lower the resolution, the worse your texturing information about your terrain. And the higher, the better the texturing results. The detail map is used to store the detail information. So all details are for example such as grass or flowers so I can quickly enable that and generate all the details like this and the same here if you have lower resolution the less information you can store the less details you're able to place on your terrain if you want to make it really dense choose a very high resolution and you get a really dense terrain with your grass stuff here uh, regarding with, uh, with, uh, with the detail map, there are other two values that are important to know. The first one is a detail distance. You can see what is going to happen if I'm increasing this value. You can see I see the details at a very long range to the camera. Reducing it, it's cut off. So this is of course a performance uh, thing or yeah, performance question. Uh, good PCs are able to handle without any problems. Also, details at a very large distance. The detail density can be used to, um, yeah, to control the density for your grass, for example. You can see it here. So also, this is a good, a good, uh, good slider for, yeah, for controlling the performance behavior of your PC. So, the next one is the base map, and the base map is, in, uh, is important because of the texturing. Best shown if I quickly show you how, what is going to happen. Let me quickly delete my details now. And uh, reduce the base map distance, which actually is used to tell the Unity system, the Unity terrain system, uh, at which distance to texturize the terrain with all those nice texture details that you have applied. You can see that if I fly in, I have a, I have a basement distance of 1. So this is a range of 1. And there's where we can see the details now. I've increased this basement distance. I have it for larger ranges also. So what does the base map resolution actually do? The best is shown if I'm reducing it to uh, the basement distance of 1. And it's a base map resolution of 64. Again, uh, you have less information you can you can use for generating this global entire color map, and this means also not that a good uh, colorization of your of your terrain at all. So I think uh, 512 should be used at all, and that gives you enough information and uh, and enough detail. Also, let's set back the base map distance to its original value, 4000. So another thing is the cast shadows checkbox. If I turn it off, the terrain does not cast shadows anymore. If you turn it on, you can see the shadows on your terrain. Another thing is the pixel error, best shown here. If I am going to shade a wireframe, this one controls the, the detail of your terrain. The higher the value, the less detail you have. The lower the value, the more detail you have. So the official value, or let's say the official minimum value is uh, 1. 
Uh, when creating support, the values are also below 1. But be careful with that because uh, don't use this in productions. This is good for creating some nice screenshots or so controlling the, the detail during production. Uh, but this will give you a heavy performance impact, so keep it at least at 1. So, the next one is the, is the terrain real width and the terrain real height. Well, these values actually uh, refer to the mesh width of your terrain. If I change this, for example, to 2000, you can see I have no larger terrain mesh at all. And uh, if you want to keep these values equal, so like if I'm going to change the, uh, the width, I want to, uh, to, uh, to automatically change also the height, then just check the fixed size ratio checkbox here. Now each time you change any of these both values, you can see that they are adapted and uh, you get a good looking terrain. Okay, that's for it now. Um, all these the things that I have shown you here are also available inside the uh, Unity Terrain tools here. So you can change them as well. The only difference is that uh, you cannot uh, set it to a, to a maximum resolution of 8192 inside the Unity Inspector here. And you also cannot uh, choose the pixel arrow uh, below 1. So this is what you can do actually with Word Creator. But these uh, settings here can, take as, can be taken as only comf comfortable settings without switching always to the to the Unity Terrain tools. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, please check out our other tutorial videos. And yes, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and bye-bye. Uh,